guys, how you doing? This is Chris Bruton with Lorenz Electronics uh, Pro Staff. And today we're going to do a helpful hint on how to move your waypoints from unit to unit via SD card and also how to do a little waypoint management um, so that you can uh, keep your lakes and waypoints organized and kind of, you know, just help you be a little bit better angle on the water. All right, so here we go. So here we have a HDS Carbon 12. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to save our waypoints onto the SD card. So once you power your deal up, all you have to do is hit pages at the top. Scroll up to settings and hit files right there. Now what you're going to need is an SD card, a little micro SD card. This one's a little 32 gigabyte. Well, I don't think you see it. 32 gigabyte. So it's a decent sized card. Um, probably the biggest I would use in the unit. But you go ahead and stick that in. And if you when I when I do, if you look at the screen, you'll see it change a little bit. So there, memory card right. That's our card that we got in there now. So what we're going to look at is our waypoint routes and trails trip database. Go ahead and hit that. And you'll see I got 6,000 waypoints on here. But at the bottom, you have export, export region, delete all, and purge. Now, 6,000 waypoints is a lot to try to manage, but you can do it. So what we want to do is we want to first save all of them. So we'll hit export. File version 6 is for the carbon units, 5 is for the Gen 3s, and 4 is for the um, ones below that. So just hit um, hit export. And then you want to destination folder is memory card right. Hit OK. And you can name it. We'll name it 22. Whoops. We'll name it WRT 22 Jan 18. And hit enter. And then the hourglass shows up. You see it there. And it disappears. So it saved all those points. So what we're going to do next is we're going to export region. And this is how you do some of your management. So we hit export region. And if you'll notice, you'll have a little box on here. And that box will, um, this is what you use to encompass the region that you want to take your waypoints. So here we got a little small lake, a little power plant lake with a couple of waypoints on it. So if you notice, I got an X here and then another X here. And this orange box, I'm trying to is encompassing the whole lake. So once you do that on whatever lake you want or whatever certain waypoints you want, maybe you just want to show somebody a, a certain hump or a, a point or something, you can do the same thing. Zoom into the lake and show them a certain spot and that has some waypoints on it or you just wanted to save that certain area. You can do the same thing. So you can do the region as the whole lake or just a portion of the lake. So once you do that, all you have to do is hit export and then again, for uh, file version six, hit export. Destination folder, again, will be your right memory card. Hit OK. And then, so since we're doing this lake, um, we'll hit new. And then the lake is actually, it's called Walter E. Long, but we refer to it as Decker. So we'll just call it Decker. D E C K. ER Decker and then once we do that we just hit enter again and it's hourglass is showing and then it disappears and then we got to check to see if we got our waypoints so we just hit pages again scroll up the files and then we're going to check our card this time so memory card we'll go to Decker there's our Decker file right there oops right there and then you'll see once I tapped on it, it'll show 1.3. So this is good if I had a blank unit and then I wanted to import it once I put my memory card in there. Then I would put import and it would put the web waypoints onto the unit. Okay. Um, and then let's look for the other one. So that was the waypoint routes trails one. And there she is, waypoint routes trails. 22 Jan 18 USR file. We're good to go. Check it. Make sure it's got some size to it. 
So it's got some information on it. Again, if this is a new unit, you could import them on there or whatever you want. You want to copy it to somewhere. You can do that as well. All right, so that's it. Quick tip and trick and how the who done it on how to uh, import your files onto the SD card so you can move them around, manage them. Um, the deal we did with the Decker Lake, you can also do that with you know multiple different lakes, and that way when you import them um, or you save them, uh, you'll have to manage all your lakes. The cool thing about that, let me show you something real quick before we end. Um, so we'll go back to the Decker Lake deal again. And so what we want to do is go back and just go back all over again. Go back to our files. All right. And then we go to Waypoint Routes Trails. So now we're going to, so say we went fishing on Decker Lake today, found a new spot, found some new waypoints, and we want to update that to our Decker file that we currently have. We don't want to have a Decker 1, a Decker 2, and Decker 1600. We want to just have one Decker file. So we go back to our export region again, and we place that cursor, that box, around that lake that we just fished again. And then we just hit export. Same thing, file version six. And then memory card write, we hit okay. Oops, memory card write, we hit okay. And then instead of hitting new on here, this is where you would just hit Decker again. And you just tap Decker and it's gonna update it. There's your little hourglass. And so any new waypoints, routes or trails that you made on that lake, or well, that area that you saved will now be updated onto that waypoint card. So that's how you can manage your stuff. You can uh, not have all 6,000 of your waypoints loaded onto your graph at once. You can just do whatever lake you're fishing at the time. If you're on Sam Rayburn, you can just import the Sam Rayburn file onto your graph. And that way your graph will also work a little bit um, better without having to fuss through 6,000 waypoint routes and trails. You can just have whatever lake um, you want to import at that time on that graph working, if that makes sense for you. All right. So again, this is Chris Bruton fishing, Lawrence Electronics Pro Staff, trying to help you be a better angler and manage your units and your waypoints to help you to be a little bit more efficient on the water. Have a great day. Peace.